Man and the Moon was the second Tomorrowland show to probe the future of space exploration. And again, it is introduced not only by Walt Disney, but by the show's producer, director, and co-writer, Ward Kimball. Like its predecessor, this show begins by tracing man's fascination with the moon, from the first superstitions and legends, through Galileo's invention of the telescope, and the questions surrounding that compelling light show known as an eclipse. It also shows us how prominently the moon figures in our culture, from the works of William Shakespeare to the words of popular nursery rhymes. There's even a parody of an old Tin Pan Alley popular song called Ah, See the Moon. This whole segment of the show is brimming with visual puns and whimsical sight gags so typical of Kimball and his collaborators, including John Donne, who a decade later provided visual gags for the Pink Panther cartoons. The graphic design in this part of the show is bold, modern, and witty, a far cry from what people think of as typical Disney. But the real star of this program is Werner von Braun, the brilliant and forward-thinking scientist who lays out for us step by step what will occur as man approaches the task of flying to the moon. Using models, simulations, and a dramatic enactment with actors, sets, and props, we see a 1955 projection of what manned spaceflight will look and feel like, including the incredible notion of weightlessness. We even see how tomorrow's astronauts will deal with an emergency in space, using robotic arms to patch a dangerous leak in one of their vessels. This was science fiction made real through the extraordinary efforts of Walt Disney and his team. It made its debut on the Disneyland TV show on December 28, 1955, and was rerun four years later under the title, Tomorrow the Moon.